In this video, I will be showing you algebra 1, s.7, slope intercept form, graph, and equation. So the questions look like this. Graph this line using the slope in y intercept y equals 8x plus 2. So if we look at our notes, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m is the slope. Slope is the direction and steepness of the line. So the slope tells us which direction to go and how steep it's going to be. Our b is our y-intercept, also known as 0, comma b. This is very important to start the graph. The y-intercept is the point on the line where it intersects with the y-axis. So our y-axis is the vertical axis or the up and down axis. So what my mouse is doing, that's where the y-axis is. So our y-intercept is positive 2. So if I look at my notes, that means our point is 0, comma 2. So it's 0, 2. It's always on the y-axis. Always. Never changes. Here is our slope, 8. So we are going 8 units upward or rising eight units, you, might, you may have heard of rise over run before. Um, I'm personally not a fan, because what happens when you go down? You're not rising, you're falling down. Anyway, so eight units means positive, so positive is usually, is usually associated with up. So we're going eight units up to 10. Now, how far do we move to the right on our grid? Well, if we think about 8 as a fraction, any number is really that number over 1. Any number divided by 1 is itself. So our fraction would be 8 over 1. This 1 is telling us we need to move one unit to the right. So we're rising 8 and we're running 1 or we're moving upwards 8, and we're moving over 1. So here we start at 0, 2, our y-intercept, and our slope is 8 units up, 1 to the right. Here, our y-intercept is negative 8, so we're starting at 0, negative 8. So it always has to be in the y-axis. Now, our slope is negative 1 over 6, so this negative 1 means we're going down 1, and then the 6 means we're moving right 6. So down 1, right 6. The way I think of it is that you're either moving up or down, whether it tells you if it's positive or negative, and then you're always moving to the right, no matter what. The only time you don't is if you don't have enough space on the graph. So here we go down 1, right to the 6. If we notice, the line is going downward. Downward is associated with negative, and we have a negative slope, so that is accurate. Y-intercept is 0, 9, so it has to be on the y-axis. Here we go up 1 and right 9, so up 1, right 9. Answer. Y intercept is negative 2, and we go down 1 over 9. Y intercept is 10. Here, our slope is negative 7, so we go down 7 over 1, because it's really negative 7 over 1, if it were our fraction. Y intercept is 0, negative 2. And we go down 1 over 8. Because we have negative 1, it tells us to go down. The, the bottom number of the fraction is 8, it tells us to go to the right 8. We start at 0, 6, our y intercept. And then we go down 8 and over 1. y intercept is 5. And our slope is negative 6 over 1, so we go down 6 over 1. Y-intercept is 0, 4. 
and we go down one, right five. So down one, right five. Zero one is our y intercept. We go down one because it says negative one and over two. Zero eight is our y intercept. And we go up one over seven. Okay. Y intercept is negative three. We go down one over ten. So that's it for this video. Just remember that your y-intercept is the point that you start on the y-axis. So here is negative 10. And then the top number of the fraction tells you to go up or down. So here I'm going up one. And then the bottom number on the fraction always tells us to go to the right. So we go up one and right two. And that's it. Good luck.